making cucumber kimchi. A few simple ingredients, cucumbers, green onions, sesame oil, soy sauce, sesame seeds, two garlic cloves, red chili pepper flakes, a half a carrot, and a little secret ingredient. This is a, a little bit of chicken bouillon cube. And um, I'm gonna show you how to cut it up and prepare it. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna wash your vegetables, which I've done already. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna peel the excess skin off these cucumbers, okay? And which is gonna allow you to get a much tastier, softer flavor. I have no idea what that means, but it just tastes better when you take the skin off. Okay, almost done. Look at that. Now we're going. Okay, do the next one. The oddly, oddly shaped cucumber. Now we're doing um, same thing with the carrot. There we go. Now we got the uh, the skin peeled off the cucumbers and carrots, and uh, let's start our cutting now. Next, we're going to cut the uh, the cucumber. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in half like so, slice it down the middle, and I'm going to cut it at a di diagonal angle, okay? As you can see, I'm going to show you real fast, the, it kind of looks like this. I like it small like that because, well, it's still a good size, but it's crunchy, but also allows the water come out of it because you don't want soggy cucumber kimchi. Okay, so just ending with this one. Alright. Good stuff. Good. Save the cucumber for last and you'll see why. Okay, so now we have it all in the bowl. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it set here for about five to 10 minutes so some of the moisture can uh, drip out and I can pour it out. So we'll wait and um, I'll see you in five minutes. Okay, it's been five minutes. Now we're gonna take the green onion and cut it. Okay, so you can cut these many different ways. You can cut them in, you know, uh, I guess quarter inch and whatever, but what I like to, I like to cut them diagonally. I'm very small and fine, okay? Okay, good stuff. Right. Add it in, okay. Next, two garlic cloves. If you don't like, the strong garlic taste, you can just uh, add one. Smash it down. Okay. Okay. garlic and okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix our ingredients with the cucumber kimchi now we're gonna add 
two tablespoons of sesame oil. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. Two tablespoons of red chili pepper flakes. And we're going to add one teaspoon of chicken uh, bouillon cube. I know it sounds weird, but you can do it without this or you can do it with this. But when, when you add this, it just, the flavor comes out much more. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going we're to mix this up now. All right. all together. Okay. Um, that's really good. Next we're going to use we're gonna two teaspoons or one teaspoon, one to two teaspoons of uh, sesame seeds. Okay. I'm going to mix this up again. And last thing, not least, is we're going to shred some carrot on top. And there we have it. It's all mixed up. And that's it. Took about five minutes, well, 10 minutes to make, but as you can see, look at that cucumber kimchi. Also, I'll be eating this with a, uh, made some uh, dumplings the other night, so I'll make a video how to make uh, Korean dumplings. And obviously I have some kimchi, chicken, protein for the gym, and uh, my rice. Well, obviously I'm gonna eat like four of these rice bowls, but this looks pretty, so. Anyways, thank you for watching my video, and uh, if you have any comments, comment below, and uh, I'll be happy to make more videos on how they make Korean food. Because it's healthy, it's easy to make, and it's delicious, so have a good day.